Hi, it's Karen. In this video, we are going to do partitive versus quotative division in base 5. I'm going to do both of them. I'm going to do them one at a time, and hopefully we'll have a nice little comparison by the end. Okay, so first I'm going to do partitive, obviously, which is why I'm covering up subtractive. Um, so here we've got 1, 2, base 5, and we want to break it into um, into three groups. And three base five is the same as three anything else. So we're going to go ahead and make our three groups. Let's do that here. Let's do three groups. One, two, three. Here's our three plates for the three people we're sharing with or dealing out to, however you want to think of it. Um, and we need to, to, to deal this out. We can start dealing if we want to, but we can't complete dealing, what do you think we need to do? Ah, you think we need to exchange this for five ones? Let's do that. Let's get five ones and get rid of that one long of fives. And then continue our process of dealing out or start over again anyway. So here's our one, two exchanged for ones. Okay, so let's deal this out. We're dealing out, and there we go. We've dealt out. We have one remaining. Okay, so here we're gonna have. I guess I have to move this up a little bit. We're gonna have. Let's make it fit. As our answer, we're going to have how many objects are in each group? There are two in each group with a remainder of one. So this is going to be two remainder one. And if we wanted to draw that from the start, we would have to go like this. We started out with a 1, 2, base 5. We need to make an exchange right here and turn that into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the 2 we originally had. And then we need to deal these guys out. There's so many different ways to deal stuff out that you all have seen. So I don't even know which one's my favorite. Um, I'm just gonna gonna just cross them out and draw them. That one seems the easiest. So let's draw and cross, draw and cross. First, we're gonna deal out this one. Consider him dealt. Deal out this one. Deal out this one, deal out this one, back over here, deal out this one, to here, deal out this one, to here, and then we have our remaining one right there, just hanging out all by himself out there. So the final picture for what you do when you do the partitive division is this. We have our 12 or 1, 2 base 5 objects divided into 3 base 5 groups and how many objects are in each group. That language is really important. Okay, now we're going to go over and do the same problem with a subtractive technique. Whoop! Over here. So let's get the same thing set up. Here's our 1, 2 base 5 and we're going to need to figure out what exactly the problem is here. Same thing, it's 1, 2, base 5 divided by 3, base 5, but this time we're going to look at it from a subtractive approach. Subtractive meaning repeated subtraction. We're going to repeatedly subtract 3. So how many groups of 3 are there? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do the exchanging first because that's going to be the same no matter which problem it is. Get rid of this guy put these guys in its place, make sure it's the right amount, 
five of them. Okay, so here's our one, two, base five exchanged. This time we need groups of three. So we've got to go, okay, here's one group of three, here's one group of three. Oh, well, we don't have another group of three. So there again is a remainder. I like to make my threes look like little pyramids and I don't think we have time for that on this video, but I just kind of anally need that to happen for some reason. Okay, so here's our two groups of three with one remainder. Okay, so this time we're going to circle our groups and it's going to look really different because this is what happened. Okay, and that might not be the way that you actually want to show it if you're actually um, drawing it on a test because it looks kind of weird here. So let's go ahead and do how we would draw it if we were drawing it on a test, okay? All right, so again, this is, the answer is the same. It's two, two groups with a remainder of one. So two groups with one remaining. Okay, let's draw this like it would be on a test. Okay, pretend like we're taking a test. Get nervous. Are you nervous? Okay, so I don't want to show the exchanging. It's going to be the same as it was last time, so I'm going to skip that step so that you can stop watching sooner. So here we have already exchanged. Here's our 1, 0 base 5, 1, 1 base 5, 1, 2 base 5. There they are. And the question is, how many groups of 3 base 5 are there? There's one group, two groups, and one remainder. So there's two, remainder, one with that method. Let's look at them together for a minute. The pictures look very, very different depending on which method you're showing. Because in one group over here in partitive, it says that you've got three buckets, three plates, three people, three somethings, and you're sharing or dealing them out. And in this one, it says you need three for each thing. It could be a recipe that requires three apples and you have seven, well, okay, <laughs> one, two, base five apples. How many recipes can you make? Okay, so something like that. We'll work on writing these problems in class. All right, I hope this helped clear up the difference between doing and showing the partitive versus subtractive technique for division.